the prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, a T-shirt. <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. I got you one, too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. <laughs> Same to you. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh, yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. Oh, well, until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. The holidays have to end so fast. At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? 
Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ugh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke! Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Uh, private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh. I should start heading home.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. I see. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. You're back. Huh. 
What's wrong? But... Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <gasps> huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Um, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko! Can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girl's room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! Huh, it's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now?!
Thanks. I'm glad you're here. <sighs> Why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! Sifo, listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, faded to foam. said no.
papers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Huh? But it's Mother's Day. Is it okay to give them to Dad? Okay, then I'll give them to him. Um, I did a really good job. My teacher said they were pretty. <laughs> I wonder if Dad will be happy to get them. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. We did it! It's finally over. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down! So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh crap, then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? All right, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Ah, seriously? I chose the wrong one. Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you too? And it's probably the right answer. <sighs> Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. 
You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but... It's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. Yeah. I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did... did you say he was a legend? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko.
Sorry. back. Good. Sucks. Oops. You're right. <sighs>
Well, you know... See ya. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. The hell are you punks doing here? That voice. This ain't a show! Get bent! Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. But I thought he got into a high school and started attending class. Huh. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. Whoa! It started raining. I guess the weather report was right. That means the show's probably gonna be on tonight. I hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got it? I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. <clears throat> we will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. 
Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters? Hmm, that does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night... I saw it too! I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm, wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah, the screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah. And if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct... Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was Definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's exactly what we just said. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! My, my funny bone! <laughs> Not again. Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. <laughs> when are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? <laughs> That's a good one, Chie! You're back.
average, don't you think? Well, I kind of understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay? See you tomorrow. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Yuki-chan, it's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him, weirdo? Uh huh? Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... This scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Uh, well, kinda. Um... Did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. 
Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Well, quick, hide! You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. T Tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did he... Did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but... He's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? <gasps> that scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! The one on TV last night was... Definitely Kanjikun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Oh, I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no, <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Welcome home.
target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here! I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. What in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Uh, okay. All right, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh, let's hurry up and go! I wonder if those two will be all right. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So, shall we? <laughs> Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Do you think the culprit... Then we need to keep our eyes open. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. You want? Can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. 
Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Suspicious! You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! Say what you think! Y you got it all wrong! Hey! Are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that! We regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji kun will come home. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! <laughs> oh, too much running. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Welcome home, big bro. so late. Um, Kanji-kun seems to be missing. I had some calls to make for the inn, so I called the textile shop as well. When I spoke to Kanji-kun's mother, she told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? I think so too. He could be... It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the Midnight Channel will come on. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanji-kun or not. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Thank you. 
Hello, dear viewers. It's time for Bad Bad Bathhouse. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo! Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel. It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Huh. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? <laughs> no doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. People saw Yukiko's show. Do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Guys! First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer! Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? two were the same thing. Uh, I know. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. 
Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally?
Yo. Excuse me, do you have any business here? Mm, as you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late
No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residence are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do. I wish That's not very nice. Thank you.
I'll see you at school. Welcome back. night. 